There are times when I feel eerily prescient, and today is one of those times. Um, on Saturday night, I was uh, the guest on the MGTOW Chats live stream. Before I was, uh, before I became the, the, the guest, one of the hosts asked me, well, what do you want to talk about, Andy? And uh, he, he gave me two alternatives. One was to talk about the thing that, you know, we're not supposed to talk about, that uh, if you talk about it at all, especially if you're me, then uh, YouTube instantly strikes you. Uh, if you even refer to it in some way, they strike you, if you're me anyway. Uh, one was that thing, and, and he said, if we talked about it, then we can put it on BitChute and really just be frank uh, and be uh, totally candid with our thoughts. Or the second choice is, I, I know you're, you're a sports fan, sort of. Uh, we could talk about sports ball. And I said, you know, I'm sort of tired of the first thing. Um, let's, let's talk about the second thing. Let's do sports ball. And one of the things that interested me about the subject of sports ball... We had a wide-ranging conversation. It went a lot of places. It wasn't really that uh, that directed. It was fairly uh, free-flowing. But one of the things that that we we did mention was the the notion of rigged games. Um, the idea that there could be times when, in some important uh, 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 professional sports uh, match, where the powers that be hand down this, or maybe, you know, just maybe it doesn't have to be from uh, ultra on high. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be like a nine 11 JFK, uh, false flag inside job kind of deal, but just something, you know, simpler where, you know, you got the, uh, the influence of, of, uh, organized crime everywhere. You know, even if we can't see it, even if we don't know about it, it's there, you know, even where, even uh, in places that seem to be lawful, there's still the, the existence of this this lawless force um, that, I don't know, we could, let's call it the mafia for lack of a better term, where it might just be decided for, for one reason or another that this game needs to have this outcome. These people need to win. These people need to lose. Um, and, you know, I realized fairly short time ago that, you know, as I, as I was, as I have aged, uh, and, uh, grown much more friendly to, uh, the notion that things are not what they seem, um, for me, it's been part of, part of the aging process. You know, when I was 20, I didn't have these, these notions in mind at all. I was, I was pretty much a, just a conservative normie. Um, but over the course of the years, I've come to see, well, there's this. This definitely didn't happen the way they said it did. It just doesn't make sense. Um, and that story, you know, it just, just uh, doesn't hold up under scrutiny and, and so forth. Um, and so I was becoming more and more uh, welcoming of the notion that things might not be what they seem. And yet, for, for some reason, it never occurred to me that this might apply to the realm of sports. That, uh, you know, when you have these, these high-paid athletes, you know, this, this league that generates millions or billions of dollars, like the NFL, for example, or other, other uh, uh, professional sports leagues, um... But let's let's really hone in on the NFL right now because that's what I'm about to mention. Um, how maybe it's the case sometimes that 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 games are rigged, um, and that was on Saturday night. Then the very next day, uh, you got a game that everybody is screaming about the the whole notion of. The NFL being rigged. The NFL rigged is now trending on Twitter. It's a hashtag, I believe. Um, and, you know, people are up in arms, uh, especially 
Cincinnati Bengals fans are up in arms. Um, there was a play in in the game last night between the Cincinnati Bengals and uh, the Kansas City Chiefs, where uh, the Chiefs uh, uh, had a play on third down, and uh, they they threw an incomplete pass, and so they had to bring in the punting unit. But then the referee said, "Wait a minute, no, we need to play that down over." Uh, because supposedly the, the, uh, the, I don't want to get too into the weeds here, but suppose for those of you who aren't sports fans, but, uh, supposedly the play clock was, was still running and it shouldn't have been running. And so the referee ran on one of the referees ran on the field saying, no, don't start the play. We need to reset the play clock, but nobody could hear him. And the reason why nobody could hear him was supposedly because it was so loud in that stadium um, and, uh, so, so as a result, they, they got the, the Kansas city chiefs got to re redo the play. They got a do over, you know, which you've never see, you never see that, you know, in, in big league sports, you, you, you know, it's something that let's like when you're playing with your friends in the backyard, when you're a kid, you know, you say, uh, we get, we, we get a do over because, uh, you know, Mom's car pulled up and I was distracted, and uh, so so we get to have a do-over for this reason or for that reason. Um, so it's also called a mulligan. But per, the idea of there being a mulligan or a do-over in a professional sporting event is just wild and crazy. Um, and so the even though it didn't end up having an effect on the outcome of the game, the Kansas City Chiefs did not score on that drive when they were given a, an extra down. Um, uh, they ended up punting it away anyway. Um, still, nevertheless, there are people uh, saying this is outrageous. This this shows that the NFL is rigged. Kind of find it wild and crazy, and you know, synchronistic and oddly prescient, and uh, and so forth. The, the, just that things aligned in that way that we had this conversation about uh, professional sports and the possibility of. And sports ball, and the the, the possibility of uh, there there being rigged events in professional sports. The very next day, uh, you've got this. Uh, what some people are thinking is a huge red flag uh, that uh, that uh, this that this is going on. That the NFL is rigged. That they wanted wanted the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, and the referees knew they had to make sure that that was gonna gonna happen one way or another. Um, you know, I'm not saying that that's the truth about what happened. Uh, I, I would caution skepticism on that front. Uh, and I would say the referees, the ref, the referee crew should, should be, uh, even though everybody hates referees, everybody hates umpires, you know, it's, that's part of sports ball. <laughs> it's booing the, booing the umpires or the, or the referees or whatever. But, uh, I would say give them the, uh, they, they, I would say they're innocent until proven guilty on this front. Um, but, uh, but I just think I find it really interesting, this, this alignment, uh, between what was going on in my mind. Uh, not that this is about my, the powers, my powers or anything like that, but just that it was in the air, it was in the water. I, maybe, it, maybe it was something that other people were we're sensing and lapping up. It was a psychic thing, just just vibrating around us. I don't know. Um, and we we had a conversation about it on Saturday night. On Sunday night, uh, suddenly it's NFL rigged everywhere. So, just wanted to share that. Don't know if that's of interest to to anybody, uh, but I, I wanted to uh, talk about it anyway. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. If you have a thought, leave it below.